Hello everyone, my name is Uh Oh, and today, today we're doing some more Tropica 4, and things have just got pretty dangerous. Previously, we actually discovered that the United States itself was behind the assassination of its own president, and by extension and more concerning, the attempted assassination of Macho Man Gordon himself. The ringmaster of this conspiracy, now the president, seeks to destroy us, and we have no option but to go to the USSR for help, which is kind of unfortunate given that we've actually had a pretty good relationship with the US throughout this entire game. We've allied with them almost every time, have been favored trading partners with them almost every time. Um, actually, come to think of it, why they are wanting to kill me, I have no idea. But that's beyond the point. They have turned their backs on us, on Gordon, and they must pay. But to do that, we need to help the USSR establish some surveillance here. We need to get some secret agents, get some Russian James Bonds out on the field, and attract some wealthy tourists, because everyone knows those wealthy bastards have all the secrets. So we're just going to get started here. Hopefully this won't be too difficult. I don't think it will. We have pretty moderate experience when it comes to building tourist cities. We've done it like, what, five times now, if not like 18. So it shouldn't be too difficult. Uh, money early on at a tourist city is a pretty big problem. It's actually probably the biggest problem we face. Because it, it costs a lot, okay? It, it costs a lot of money to get tourists in here. I mean, they don't spend a lot when they're here, as like when you're first starting out, because you don't typically have a lot of shit. So, it's going to cost us a fair sum. Um, it's going to be some pretty big bucks we're spending, but I'm hoping to make it back. I'm, we're probably going to make it back. If we don't make it back, people are getting executed. It's really that simple. The problem is, I chose this area because I thought it looked good, but apparently it actually looks horrible, according to civilization, according to the people here. It looks horrible. The tourists from other countries, apparently, lack the intellect to admire the beauty of this volcanic world, and instead have chose to hate it abysmally. They think it's normal. They li literally, I mean, look at this. Look at this. They think this is normal. This area here? Oh, yeah, this is normal. Well, you get all of this back home. Yeah, they think the volcano's normal. Look, they think this is normal. I'm sorry, but if you told me that I could live in some hotel on the top of a volcano, which we can't place it there, but it'd be great if we could, I would, that would be fucking legit. I don't know about you, but that'd be tourism rating off the board for anyone that's not terrified. Though, to be fair, I think most people would probably shit themselves rather than... Except the fact that, you know, you're gonna die anyway, so you might as well go to the volcano. I mean, we don't even know if this is an active volcano. I'm gonna make the assumption it's an active volcano. It could be dormant, but there is smoke coming out of it, so my guess, my bet, is on active. I mean, we were even hesitant to build over here at first because this thing is probably going to go off at some point. I am hoping that our that our little colony here is far enough away that this won't be a problem, but we, we won't know that for sure. Not until the volcano itself erupts, and to be honest with you, I'd rather avoid that if we can. I need to get some college grads in here. We got a lot of work to do today. We got a lot of work. We need to get a lot of shit up. We need to actually bring in these wealthy guys, too. That's gonna take a lot. That ain't gonna be easy. Ugh, fuck, but we gotta do it. We gotta do it. And if we're going to bring in wealthy people, we're probably going to need to get in a different type of, like, you know, a different type of hotel, different lodging. We need to get in luxury resorts and skyscraper hotels. Those are the things that wealthy tourists like to stay in, especially the luxury hotel. The problem for that is that we actually need to first unlock the blueprint. And even before we can do that, we need to get electricity on the island. So we kind of got to get a lot of money. Right now, we don't really have a lot, so we kind of need to build up our economy and work our way up, I guess. Some Colombian parents. All right, fair enough. I will build up the military just for you. Just for you. We'll put um, a armory, like, right over here to, you know, deter the tourists from going further inland because we really don't want them to. We really don't. And we were talking about this earlier. It's always a good idea to keep your tourists separated from the rest of the country because no one wants to see the slavery. I mean, they, they, they know it's there, but they won't care if they don't see it, if it's not in their face. So keeping them out of here so they don't see it, so that they don't start caring, is probably a good thing. 
I mean, we do have a, a child slavery operation here where little children are carrying, like, super large, like, 100-pound sacks of, I don't know, whatever this is, assuming it's food, into the marketplace, but... You know, that, that's fine. I mean, that kind of stuff, you know, it, it's a family endeavor. That's the excuse we'll use. The, like, when the tourists come and question the people over here, like, why are you using child labor? They'll be like, oh, that's just my son, you know. That's just normal, which in the countries these guys come from, that probably is normal. You know, keeping labor in the family, stuff like that. And they're like, oh, okay, and then, like, they'll walk away, and then the store owner will go over and start whipping the poor child for, you know, being seen. Yeah, it's, it's pretty great. They'll call the military in, they'll probably execute the storekeeper as well. Yeah, it'll be great. Um, we're bringing in more tourists now than ever before. I mean, we now have an ethnic enclave, too. I've kind of just been rambling over everything as I've just been building things up. Because, to be fair, well, actually, to be fair, that's what I do anyway, really. Let's, let, let's just be honest here. That is exactly what we do anyway. Like if you didn't, if you came to the series expecting anything else, I think you're here for the wrong reasons. I'm just saying. This is a series all about rambling. It's about rambling, rambling, and more rambling. So if you don't like rambling, I'm sorry, but maybe you shouldn't be watching this. To be fair, if you didn't like rambling, you've probably already disliked the video, unsubscribed, and left. Because that's pretty much all this channel is. Rambling. Oh, I think this is a nice little square. We can put, like, more hotels on this side. We also need to take into consideration the fact that the wealthy individuals are not going to want to be living next to the poor guys. So, that's the problem. We can't have, like, the luxury hotel right here next to the motel. Well, actually, I say that, you know, some, some individuals might actually get off to that. Like the idea of it, having their skyscraper towering over the hovels below, looking down on the heads of the subservient... Actually, I think some people might like that. I know that's what Gordon does over here. This is why he always keeps his mansion by the poorest of the poor, so he can look down upon them in spite and say, Yes, I am your master. I am your lord. So maybe they would like that. Also, we're now getting rebels. Great. That's perfect. Everyone loves having rebels appear. It's always fun. So I'm going to actually build some guard stations because the last time this happened, it went unchecked. We literally died. So I'm going to try to prevent that from happening this time. I might fail, though. I mean, I'm not offering any like, promises here. There should be no need for fraud. We, we pretty much got this covered. I don't think it'd be too big of a problem. Healthcare? Let me guess. Are the communists the ones rebelling? Let's have a look-see here. Let's have a look-see. Nope, it's the loyalists. Uh, once again, loyalists rebelling. What a surprise! Okay, fine. The Loyalists are apparently concerned that we don't have a childhood museum. Well, I can build one, like, right there. It'll, it'll be beautiful. You'll love it. This town is it's just an absolute shithole. I mean, look at this fucking... Look at this block! I know I was just say, was saying that this looks nice, but, uh, no, seriously, look at it! Look at it! I, I, th I even think it's crooked, which is the best part. And I think this road here is crooked. Oh, God. I am terrible at city builders. For you, you know, for the fact that you've stuck around this long, I mean, you, you deserve a fucking award or something, because dealing with my shit on a city builder for this long takes some serious fucking skill. Because I am probably one of the worst city builders in the entire world. I, uh, if they elected me as mayor of some small town, it'd be in ruins Sir, within, like, the, the first seven, hour seven. of me achieving office. I have some good news. Oh, good. The rebels are now afraid of our army. Literally, immediately after you said that they were rising in power. Good to know! I don't even know what's going on anymore. You know what? We gotta, we gotta make the tourists think that we're doing good. So we're gonna put some apartments in here. And they're, they're pretty expensive. They're more expensive than um, tenements. But, you know, we gotta make those tourists think that we like our people. And the only way we can do that, the only option we really have is, you know, building apartments and stuff, getting those up. Oh, God. Uh, maybe we could use another motel? Maybe bring more people in? Uh, nah. Not right now. Let's actually build up some more luxuries before we bring more people in. It's probably the, the best idea. Let's get a tour office. 
we'll put it, like, I don't know, right here. So they can tour this forest, you know. Oh, yeah, they can have a tour of this, this shack here. This isn't a poor person shack. This isn't where we keep our homeless people or anything. This is where Macho Man Gordon grew up. I know that we have, we technically have the Childhood Home Museum over here, but uh, just, just ignore that. It's, it's nothing. It's nothing. 